Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 15. We're going to be looking at how to draw multiple points on the canvas, some buffer objects, and a few APIs, bind buffer, buffer data, vertex attribute pointer, and enable vertex attribute array. So let's go ahead and take a look. You'll see our index is all the same, our vertex and fragment shaders are the same as before, so the only changes are in our JavaScript here. All of this should look familiar to you. We have our same main as before. The draw has a slightly different few functions here. We have draw arrays, and we're giving it this buffer now, uh, given init buffers, which is a new a function that we're given. And resizer is the same, so let's look at this um, init buffers. So we're creating a, a an array of float32s with vertices here. So you can see all of the positions here disregard this for just a moment. We'll see we have six vertices, so we have one for each pair of points. And we're going to go ahead and create a vertex uh, buffer. And if we don't have one, we can log out that we have an error and then do something that with that if you'd like. And now what we're going to do is bind this array buffer to this vertex buffer that we've created on the GL object here. We're going to then call the buffer data and say that we're going to have static draw given the set of vertices from above. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the A position as we did last episode. And we're going to use that A position to set the vertex attribute pointer so that we're going to ultimately be able to use the vertices and the array buffer, uh, excuse me, the buffer object with, uh, with the program here. And so then we're going to enable the assignment. So we have to in explicitly enable, and you can also disable attribute assignment as well. So this is what you end up looking like with those six vertices. Similarly, if you see here we have this uh, attribute pointer, there's other versions of this. So you can have um, the three-point version. So as I set up here, and this is the depth. So if we actually enable this and then we refresh, we're going to end up with the exact same thing because all of the actual x, y positions are the same and the, the depths are not any different. But this is how you can go ahead and begin to play with creating different points as we ultimately get this back and then draw those points onto the screen. So we have six points here. We've created a buffer object. We are given the buffer data is applied to the attributes positions and then displayed accordingly. So pretty simple. Um, we'll get to a lot more complex examples as we go along and we're starting to get into more fun things. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe and sign up for our newsletter. Thank you.